Show the complete mechanism for the conversion of ethanoic acid to ethanoyl chloride using thionyl chloride, which is SOCl2. Ethanoic acid, thionyl chloride is SOCl2. You do have two lone pairs there. You do have two lone pairs there on your oxygen. So what is going to happen is the OH goes, it will be replaced by ACL on your carboxylic acid, COCl, and the byproducts are SO2 plus HCl. <coughs> okay, so this is how it goes. Oh. CH3, C double bond O, OH. You do have two lone pairs on that oxygen bonded to hydrogen, and that will find the sulfur in SOCl2, Cl. Okay, so one of the lone pairs will attack the sulfur, and that second bond between the sulfur and the oxygen goes to oxygen as a third lone pair what you get. CH3, C double bond O, O. Now you have a bond between that O and the sulfur on the thionyl chloride oxygen. You have three lone pairs, therefore you have a negative charge. You still have an H attached to that O, and you still have one lone pair. Do the formal charges, you have a positive charge on that oxygen and you still have two chlorines attached to the sulfur. So that there is the intermediate. Next, what's going to happen is uh, one of the three lone pairs on that oxygen bonded to sulfur will reform a second bond between sulfur and oxygen and in the process a chloride gets kicked out. CH3, C double bond O, O H, S double bond O, C L. Now you still have that plus charge there on the oxygen, which will be neutralized by the chloride kicked out in the in the process. C L minus. Okay. Next. What happens is, um, so that oxygen is positively charged, it's very unhappy, so the chloride abstracts that H, and that bond between O and H goes to oxygen as a second lone pair, and this is what you get next. CH3, C double bond O, uh, O, now you have two lone pairs on that oxygen, S double bond O, C L. All right, and we formed um, H C L in the process. Plus H plus plus C L minus. Actually, H C L is a strong acid, so in solution it will it will stay dissociated. The H and the C L will stay dissociated. Okay, so we have that intermediate. So what happens next is that chloride attacks. The, that C double bond O carbon and that bond between carbon and that oxygen forms a second bond between that oxygen and that sulfur and this bond here goes with the Cl and this is what you're going to get CH3 C double bond O now you have a bond to Cl we have formed our ethanol chloride and you form S double bond O double bond O SO2 and of course you have that H and that Cl plus HCl and 